Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another Wiscan tutorial. Today, I'm going to share with you a quick tip to make our facade design look like a professional for presentation. Well, at least there's something behind the facade. In the begin, I will using adaptive panel for Revit family component. In addition, I will using our existing tool, Cloudtime panel for structure, and in conclusion, we will using graphic tool to make our facade design look like pro. Okay, so before I get things started, I would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about Revit, make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications so you won't miss my future tutorial. Okay, so I think it's pretty much for introduction. Let's speak into our project together. Okay, so here we are in Revit's architecture template. And as you can see on my screen here, this is our section detail for our facade design. Now we switch to our model version. First thing, I need to go our file over there. We go to our file as away because we want to open for family. Then I will go to English because my country we are using for metric. Then two things I can use in my project here. Firstly, I can using our adaptive component or metric curtain panel pattern best. So I prefer using our metric curtain panel pattern best. The reason for that because I don't want to repeat my four panel adaptive there. Okay, so here we are in our curtain panel pattern best. For firstly, I will select my panel over there. Then I need to adjustment first. I will make it for 500 by 500 for vertical and horizontal. Just hit apply. Once I done that, my panel will be adjustment for size 500 by 500. And secondly, we will place our point first. I'm going to our point over there. Sorry, first thing we need to set a plan first. I will set for horizontal, then point, place on top here, hit escape. Then I'm going to move it. I think I'm going to copy that. I will copy that then start from right side just sorry again select here again hit a tab key hit a tab key until I got only my point here okay like this then we go our right side again CO for copy then I will copy is for 250 middle point then again, I'm going to move it up. Just move our offset on our property panel. I will offset it for 100. And of course, I will assign for a new parameter as well. Just make it for high. Hex for shortcut character. Then I'm going to select our previous one again. Because the previous one is our copy. Then this time we don't copy anymore. We just move it. Just move it to 250 like this hit escape then I'm going to copy here like here one then just copy it just copy it for 100 hit escape then when I done that I will move it more I think I'm going to move it for another 100 like this hit escape a couple time then it's time to connect all of them together just go to our model over there then turn on for 3d snapping i will just drag away like this hit escape a couple of time then we need to give our dimension i will set a work plan again set for horizontal again di for shortcut key just make it until here then change our scale make it 1.2 1 by 2 Again, we need to give another dimension. I think we give one is done already because here we got assigned for high already. Select my dimension over there. Create a new parameter. Make it for L. Shortcut for length. Then let's try to adjustment. I will adjustment it for 150. Apply. Okay, perfectly. Then I will make it for 150 or so. Okay, perfect. I like this position. I'm going to select here. 
Add for is a reference line in our, our identity data. Then select here again, create form, solid form. Okay, as you can see here, then I think I will move it more. Can I move it for 200? Okay, perfectly. Then I will make it 120. Okay, perfect. Then I can hit OK. Before I load into my project, I need to select all because we want to assign a new material parameter as well. Create new material. Then I will rename it for... Um, let's make it for Y. Like this. Appearance library as a way. Wall pen. I will using for cool wise. Apply and hit OK. Then I need to go our file over there. New projects architecture template is OK. Again, I come back here again. Then select my whole panel here. Change it to our Y color. Assign for parameter. It's okay. Then we can load into our our project. Project two. It's okay. Okay. It's time to create our whole facade and adjustment our graphic. Go to our wall over there. I will make it just um eight meter like this. Just copy like this. C O for copy then just copy it until uh, from here until here hit a sketch change this guy over there to storefront then i need to adjustment our work grid also go to edit change our vertical to 500 for structure because i want our structure fit with our facade like this apply Come on, it's okay. Then Li for 2D line, create another 2D line here. Like this, hit a sketch again. Sorry, first point, second point, hit a sketch a couple of time. Then go to our massing inside. It plus mass because we need to get our mass in order to apply our pattern. Pick a plan, just pick here, hit a sketch. Go to our 3D over there. Then I will select here. Just create our solid form. Start from from you again. I will tie it for eight meter height. Hit a sketch a couple of time. Select my panel. Then the Y surface. Select here. Make it to fit the stand. Five hundred. Just going down. Finding for fit the stand again for vertical. Just apply. Then I will rotation it for 45 degree. Rotate here for five degree, 45 degree as well. Supply. Okay, I think it's perfectly the time. Then we can change our pattern. As you can see here. Then I think I'm going to make our hole smaller than the bit. Um, we make it 480. Okay, as you can see here, is working parameter is quite properly. Then I can finish. Remember our structure we haven't adjusted yet. So I'm going to select our curtain structure here, like this. Then we need to rotate it for 45 degree as well. 45 degree, let's apply. It might be take a few seconds. This means like only one here. Don't worry about that. Go on top. Here we need to rotate also. Okay. Then I can select my wall from making here. Select my wall. Right click. I need to override by graphic. Uh, I will make it for white color. Just make it for Y like this. And our panel also. Right click. Or EOD for shortcut key. I 
I think uh, we are using it for orange color. Graphic display option. I need to turn on for show ambient shadow and change our style to consistent color. Supply. Okay, better a lot. It's okay. Then the next round to make it look like this. I need to using our section buff. Go to 3D. Again, I need to hide this guy over there. We hack for shortcut key. Then go to our property panel. We just go it down finding for section buff like this. It's apply. Then here it's time to adjustment that. I will straight away make it like this. Okay. Then the next round I will hide it. We hang for high. Then I'm going to select here. Hit a tab key. Then hold control key for multiple selection. Okay, sorry again because I got like include our panel already. Again. Slowly selection because we want to hide our facade pattern only okay then we can go to we hack okay we hack mean we need to hack all so we need to hide by element again simple step we need to pattern Okay, right click on your closer, high element, hide an element, as you can see here. Then you can turn on for shadow here, as you can see here. And of course, you can add take over there. That's how you create your facade design and for presentation complete with section detail in Revit. Okay, guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial. We take quite a long time already. Thank you guys for watching. and. I see you for another tutorial in Revit and have a nice weekend. Thank you.